Uh, the ozo, let's finish this as this two off. Just cut with this, I've got to finish it off. Just cut it myself. Smite begin. Just cut with this. Pushing this whole thing to its limits. Whew, whew. Damn, that was a hot resistor. It just could not resist, could it? Just could not resist. Definitely a carbon composition resistor, but looks a bit, yeah. Carbon composition resistor. Hmm, this and that that one smells like now. It's got that old woody smell burning to it. Hmm. A pop and knife out battery. Okay, now I'll find plug safety first on that one. No, it didn't even get warm. Oh, right, I'm all to made of it. Do a uh, voltage check on that, see if it actually charged it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, it did charge it a bit. Not holding the voltage very well there. Hmm. Yeah, I need more volts like a welder. That transformer's just 15 volts, but it's not enough voltage to pop that little battery. Now, I'll leave this computer in here now. It's taking out too much space in the room. I did the, um, I removed all but one stick of RAM. And Windows 98 seems to run on 512 meg. But unfortunately, it gets to the loading screen gets halfway through the lighting screen before it gets to the desktop and hangs and freezes on the lighting screen. It's a bit of a shame. Of course I put the Zalman cooler in this, so I get to take, to take the case apart and show you all the mods. That Zalman cooler helps to keep that Pentium 4 cool. Without that, this thing is a bloody space heater. Is it a mods I don't? I don't know if the 8800 GT is going to be supported on Windows 98, but there's only one one to find out. I'll just uh, download the driver off NVIDIA GeForce and flash drive it over, if that's the case, if it works. Because I don't think NVIDIA GeForce Experience supports 98 at all. I think the Pentium 4 should be good with 98, but I'm not sure. Because I took all three sticks out and left the one RAM stick in it, and the memory error was gone, it booted up, as I said. But it gets to the um, loading screen just before the desktop hangs and freezes on, freezes on the um, loading screen. So I think this board, either the chipsets or the processor, is probably too new for Windows 98 to run. That's probably why it's hanging. And I don't think a SATA drive supported either, but if I can find some drivers for, that work backwards with Windows 98 to get the SATA drive to work, that'd be nice. Because all the e-cables I've got, but there's too messy in here. Yeah, I have to put the hard drive back in here and boot it up and show you what it does, but... Yeah, it gets to the, um, like the boot screen just before it gets to the desktop and freezes on the loading screen and hangs. So, I think this board is probably too new for Windows 98 to run properly, unfortunately. It's quite a nice old board too. This is made to support only Pentium 4, this board. It's a P5 GLMX. And this was a pretty good board in its day. I got this thing built when I was in school. Local computer shop. I want to go, I want a good computer and I want a good one now. So I got that, I got this board. I had originally had a 6600 and a 160 gig hard drive, which I've still got. This was a bloody good computer right up until I got my other one in 2009. So it's still, it's still a pretty good board nowadays, but I put a core 2 drive in this and that. Board, the board won't boot up. It does not support du dual core CPUs, unfortunately. Just single core CPUs. But there's nothing wrong with a Pentium 4. It's a nice old vintage and it's actually, uh, it's a, I think it's a 2.8 gigahertz, I think, or three, almost three gigahertz. That's, yeah, it's a three gigahertz processor. 
That's the second highest I had, I think, when I got this built. I got the, the best Pentium 4 that was available at the time in 2005, so... It's uh, quite a good space heater by today's standards, as all Pentium 4s were, even back in school. The main computer room with all Pentium 4s, so boy, it got hot in there. Whew. You didn't need a bloody heater in the winter, just have all the computers on. The Pentium 4s in that room were enough to keep the room warm. But I put this Zalmon cooler on this one, it helps a hell of a lot in, the, in this case, on this board. It does help a lot. Yeah, I might just uh, leave XP on this for now, I think. Because I really wanted to get Windows 98 to run on this so I could do old DOS gaming, but... Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, this board doesn't support 98, it's not old enough. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.